uh, welcome to the data future channel uh, this is shaker and i am a data scientist so in this particular tutorial we are going to develop um, a convolution neural neural network model which is kind of artificial neural network uh, where uh, we are uh, this uh, this cnn we are going to use to uh, classify the image and mostly we are using the data of uh, dogs and cats we will uh, classify whether that images of a dog or a cat but again the conventional neural network is basically mostly used for uh, the the feature extractions from the visual data it may be a images video or text right so the convolution is the mathematical term where we can say that uh, the convolution is the operation performed on the two functions and resulting there is a third function okay so mostly it's um uh, resulting function and the process of computing it. It is called as the basically a convolution. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, you can see that convolution neural network is the extended version of artificial neural network network that is called ANN, which is predominantly used to extract the feature from the grid light matrix data set. And uh, you can see the data is images, videos, and uh, images. Uh, videos and uh, uh, now how it works basically so we will uh, give a few uh, 30 seconds for the working of this so convolution neural network where the input input is uh, Uh, the input is the image and uh, there is a convolution layer in the convolution layer what happens basically there is a, a filtered uh, the feature detector is there that is also called as the um, the filter and that will pull the features from the the images um, and um, which will convert it into a feature map so feature map is nothing but the the features extracted from the images right the next one is the pooling layers so pooling layer what happens which will reduce the dimensions or the size of the image by considering only the maximum maximum features okay so what will happen so it will reduce the dimensions right uh, next one is the relu uh, layer where is the where we are providing the um, non linearity in the uh, neural network uh, and uh, finally uh, flattening so flattening is uh, whatever is the matrix is there that we are converting into a 1d and that is the input to your uh, artificial neural network where it is a uh, fully connected so all the neurons in that will be uh, connected completely right so there is an input layer hidden layer and output layer so all are interconnected these are the um, fully connected right and the output there uh, we are using a softmat functions which will convert the whatever is the, uh, the whatever is the the final values that values will be converted into a respect to corresponding values which is uh, lying between 0 to 1 and finally we are using a sigmoid function to uh, the final output right whether it is cat or dog so like why is this convolution neural network network will work right so without wasting too much time directly we will uh, go into the practical uh, uh, approach so here we are using a tensorflow and keras these two libraries which are very powerful libraries for the deep learning so here what i am doing so i am importing a tensorflow as a tf and from keras preprocessing dot image i am importing a image data generator okay so i'll run this yes i am checking the what is the version of the tensorflow it's a tf dot version right now what happens uh, we have to generate the data that is uh, there is a one step is there that is called as the data augmentation okay what exactly it is so suppose you are providing the uh, the image of uh, uh, Im image of dog but if you rotate that image or if you uh, if you stretch that image then finally your network should identify that image of that particular uh, the, the the dog uh, is finally the output should be a dog because um, uh, it should not happen that if you change the image size or rescale it or uh, what we can say we can rotate it by few angles 
so uh, you have to train these uh, all the images by providing some data augmentation suppose you are providing a, a one image which is a horizontal one then you have to train it with the multiple uh, orientation of the image so that is called as the uh, data augmentation so here we are providing the data augmentation technique where we can say uh, here already we have imported the image data generator where we are we are we have to rescale it first because all the values are ranging from 0 to 255 so the the, the 256 pixels basically so here we are rescaling it then there is a shear range is there uh, then the zoom range is there and the horizontal flip is true so with which it will generate the multiple images uh, of single image so uh, by using this uh, uh, using these parameters okay so we can uh, if there is a one image then multiple images are generated from the same right now the training set we have to uh, see the data where it is the data so data is in the data set uh, folder and there is a training uh, set where you can see that uh, from trend gen so trend gen dot flow from directory so flow from directory so where is that data so you can see that my data is sitting in deep learning and here you can see there is a data set because my uh, my notebook is here this is the data set in the data set you can see there is a test set and training set so if you go to the training set there are two folders cats and dogs if you go there so cat images and here is the dog images right so yes so you can see that i am providing the data set at the training uh, dot training underscore set where the target image should be in 64 by 64 and the batch size should be uh, 32 and the class mode is binary binary means there are two classes so i am running this so what will happen it will fetch the data from that particular folder okay so now already uh, this data so almost 8000 images are there in the training data set with the two classes one class is dog another is cat okay now next one is the test data pre-processing we have to do in the test data pre-processing we are using only a rescaling parameter not using this one because uh, otherwise uh, we have to test it only all right the test images should be there so no need to provide these two parameters three parameters here now the test data also we are importing from here so already we know that uh, uh, these images are already there in that particular folder and there is a test uh, set is also there right so it is taking too much time because the data is used okay now again the same same i uh, think target is 64 by 64 batch size is 32 and uh, class mode is binary so if i run this you will get uh, 2000 images belong to the two classes means what your data is uh, basically a uh, test data is um, uh, actually two 2000 images means 80 percent data we have used for the training and 20 percent data we have used for the testing one okay yes the next very important phase is that uh, what you have to build the cnn model right cnn model so let's get uh, started uh, with this cnn uh, model right so uh, the first one is uh, uh, i'm creating the object of this so tf.keras.models.sequential so we have to initialize the model by using a sequential class where uh, there is uh, we are putting here so when you see this uh, we are creating a model here right now next one uh, we have to add the convolution layer where uh, where you can see that there is a add method is there so in that cnn dot add here is the object of sequential class we have created and cnn dot add is the method where you are doing the adding the layers so tf dot keras dot layers dot con 2d uh, this uh, we have to use now here is the filter is 32 so 32 filters are used and what is the size of that filter it's a three by three size right and the activation function is relu so linear uh, uh, rectified linear unit is there and the input shape is already there input shape is 64 by 64 and here three because this is the what we can say this is the uh, the uh, 
the colorful image so uh, basically the rgb red green uh, and blue image would have the channel of three so this is the channel and uh, so that if it is a grayscale then it uh, it should be one here right input shape so this is all about uh, adding a convolution layer uh, second one we have to add here the uh, pulling layer so in the pulling layer what again the same uh, cnn dot add tf dot keras layers and max pool 2d and the pool size is true and stride is true okay so again we are creating the pooled feature map we are doing here and run it okay now um, this is about the pulling air uh, layer then uh, here uh, the second layer we are using uh, the same thing so cnn dot add the convy the filter is 32 kernel is 3 activation is low. no need to give the the input shape because the input shape is already given the cnn add keras here the max uh, pull 2d pull size is 2 stride is 2 okay yes so we have uh, added the second convolution layer then next one is the flattening so we know that the whatever the matrix we are getting we have to flat it into a 1d flat it into 1d right so here what happens we have to add the uh, add again the layer so tf dot keras layers and here we are doing uh, sorry here we are using a flatten so flattening is the sequence right so we are doing here the flattening and then cnn add uh, tf keras layers dense so fully connected layer we have to add where you can see that you have to provide the units it's a unit is 128 but there is no any proper rule uh, to define the number of units and the activation function is relu so this is all about your uh, 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 all about your the uh, the fully connected layers right and finally is the output layer again the cnn dot add dot keras dot layers dense unit is one activation is sigmoid so finally we have we required a one layer which is uh, we called as the sigmoid one so where we want only a dogs and cat now next one is the what you have to uh, do the compile uh, this model so compiling is done by using a cnn dot compile method where you have to specify the three uh, methods uh, three uh, parameters one is optimizer second is a loss and third one is the matrix so is the optimizer which is used for the atom the loss is the binary cross entropy because it's um, uh, uh, because it's a binary classification problem and matrix is the accuracy so when you do this you will get this right now the how the training can be done so training can be done by fitting it cnn dot fit dot x is equal to training set and validation set is uh, validation data is the test set and the epoch is 10 and back size is uh, 100 uh, thousand so you can change it uh, here the epoch is 100 and batch size is uh, 250 something like this but it will take a lot of time uh, for these particular uh, parameters uh, it has taken around uh, 22 minutes so it is very difficult to uh, wait for the 22 minutes so i have already run this sale and you can see that in the epoch one uh, what i am getting the loss is this accuracy i am getting is this this is my uh, validation loss and the uh, validation accuracy the same thing we are doing it for the 10 epochs so 10 epochs means what um, the uh, the whole data set training data set flows through that particular cycle that is called as the one epoch and batch size means what inside that um, uh, suppose batch size is thousand okay and um, here our total uh, records are there how many total data is 10 uh, 8 800 uh, 8000 actually and uh, so what happens here uh, uh, it will uh, there will be a 250 of iterations will happen per epoch and uh, per epoch you can see there is a improvement in the accuracy so this is the validation accuracy we have to check 71 70 74 here 75 76 778 78 again and 79 in the 10th epoch so when you run this it will take uh, 22 minutes but if you select the 100 epochs it will take a lot of time again right so no need to use this so i will use the directly this uh, this one right 
so our model is training and fitted so our accuracy is 79 it's our model approximately 80 right now uh, we will do use this model for the production by using uh, for the single predictions okay so for that i'm importing the numpy uh, then i'm importing keras dot preprocessing import images and import keras dot reduce dot images why this is because i'm taking the image from the data set so i'm uh, for the single prediction so here is the day uh, image is there uh, you can see uh, in the data set um, okay let me just uh, there is an image of dog is there uh, whose target is 64 by 64 so when you run this you will see this image right um, it will take certain time yes so this is the image uh dog image and the test to image we are considering it for the cat right so now you can see that the test image is there right so test image is image uh, which you are uh, uh, taking from uh, here right from here so you can use that test image directly here so instead of skipping this one so i will use that test image already we have used uh, considered that test image by using this image may, uh, class so image dot load img is there so we have to provide the path and what is the target and you can display that image here the same i have done here so this is the test image one so i will put that test image here so what will happen it will convert uh, uh, into array right now we have to expand that array array uh, so it becomes a test image right so we have uh, because that dimension should be uh, the align with our models input data right and finally result is we are using a cnn dot predict and this is the image the text test image and the training uh, training set dot class indices because um, what we are saying the dog is one and the cat is zero so if result of this is zero uh, so i'm uh, taking because the result will be in the array uh, 2d array so if it is one then it should be dog it will be uh, otherwise it will should be cat right so when i run this cell okay now you can see the predictions for this particular case okay now the test image one uh, uh, test image one it is showing uh, give me a minute uh, let me uh, okay test image uh, two i'll do it here then because it is making okay uh, test image one then i will put this image here and here i'll use that s2 and we are checking this image test image and we have to predict this one by using okay let us see the prediction now the prediction it is showing it's a cat why it is showing the cat because uh, uh yes so uh, because our model is now uh, having the 80 percent of accuracy okay so we will check for other one the this one test image too so whether it is works fine for here oh uh, it has predicted correctly so now you can see that the cat so it is saying the cat is there right so the image cat image is there right so uh this is all about the prediction so if you have some other images in the database then we can uh, uh, we can use uh, for dog image let us check uh, we can do the uh, some uh, customized prediction or the single prediction by using a dog images so i'll take this dog image copy here and uh, okay uh, but uh, I need to uh, just data set 
a single prediction okay so i have to use this path single predictions no it's not a single prediction it's a test set dogs you have to use this one okay 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 dogs and uh, i'll say dg image we know that we we will checking for this actually dog image so i will use this one okay and uh, i'll put it here okay dz image okay so dg1 i'll say and then i'll use this one for the prediction okay test so dg1 i'll put it here and the image dg underscore one copy uh, here dj underscore one here dj underscore two and finally it should print the results and i will put the prediction predictions print predictions okay now run this now it is showing cat actually so something is wrong here uh why it is uh predicting cat because the accuracy is something uh different now let us check this dog uh with uh, this one so it's uh, again predicting a cat okay mm, let us check one more Mm -hmm. so it is taking too much time for the prediction one why it is happening no file in the directory okay let me check 44.jpg is already there right so what happens here okay no such file is there it is saying why this is happening okay no file in the dictionary test test set we are using this test set okay test set uh again we have to use the dogs here uh, it is showing cat so something is wrong with this particular case but uh, if you run this and check uh, whatever is the compiled here and based on that i think um, it may be may show you the correct results but why it is showing don't know all the cats uh, dogs are the cats uh we need to check that uh predictions also right so uh this is all about the convolution neural network where you can you can run this cell because it will take a lot of time so i have already uh, run this uh ran this uh, earlier and i'm checking based on this cnn model right this is uh, this is from my side if you have any questions you can ask thank you thanks a lot